Believe it or not, Lowell is the number one spot for ghost sightings in the Bay State, according to Ghosts of America. Did you hear that Lowell came in at number one for the most ghost sightings in Massachusetts? I would have figured it would have been Salem Mass or something. Because Salem is known for their witch trials, so I thought that would be at the top. In my family, like, there's like witches. No. Okay. My grandma used to, and then her mom, but like, they don't do it anymore. Do you think that may have attracted ghosts? Yes. I think so? I think that does definitely I've open doors. I've in my house. i seen something. It was so creepy. Like, I'm not even joking. Have you ever had any spooky or ghostly encounters? I used to, like, I used to get, like, sleep paralysis. So, like, when I was younger, I used to, like, see, like, a shadowy figure standing in my corner room. At the time, it was pretty scary, but now it's, it's kind of funny. I mean, I thought that was a ghost in my house, but I was wrong. <laughs> because something kept closing my door. <laughs> so something kept closing your door. What was it? <laughs> it was my dog. <laughs> It didn't take me long to run into my first ghost. You gotta be kidding me, you're talking to one right now. I'm talking to a ghost right now? Yeah, sure. So, so what's your name? Andy. Andy. And why are you haunting uh, around City Hall? Oh, nothing else to do. I used to go up there in the attic and uh, there's a few um, spirits up there. Now, why are you sticking around? Why, why can't you pass on to the next to the next level? I haven't found peace yet. This guy, however, has had a much more terrifying experience. You know, I've been ghosted by a lot of women lately, so that's amazing. Ladies, dudes, they ghost ghosting. me. Too much ghosting, bro. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. In Lowell, I'm James Rojas. If you're feeling spooky, ask Alexa to play WBZ News Radio on iHeartRadio.